This presentation addresses specific issues with regard to basic nuclear, biological, and chemical protection slash defense. Again, uh, each individual should be carrying at least this minimal standard and support material and equipment to provide reasonable protection against a nuclear threat, biological threat, or chemical threat. Chemical and biological are typically obvious for all individuals using the equipment, however, most people do not realize that uh, at least 70 percent of the radiation threat that exists is through inhalation. In other words, once you're moving through an area, you kick up dust, debris, or there is fallout in the air that you actually inhalate, breathe in. It's collected by the alveoli slash the lung sacs and transferred to the bloodstream where it then goes to critical components in the body and will probably try to kill you. Depending on accumulation determines how sick you get, how soon you die. Now, we're going to prevent that, to do that through full NBC protection slash defense systems. Even minimal systems provide reasonable support. What are we looking at here? Well, example, we need a basic gas mask system, in this case a civilian uh, Israeli defense system, a filtering system, as you can see here the seal for this particular Ma uh, mask filter is intact. We have a complete chem suit set with both a top and bottom. These are British Mark III uh, chem suit systems. There are many, many others available. These are reasonably priced and vacuum packed and sealed, so they're good for an indefinite period of time. We have a system to carry the gas mask, in this case a gas mask bag. There can be a number of different systems that are available on the market. Utilize the one that will fit the mask and the filter once it's connected. Try to find the, the gas mask bag that was designed for the system or one comparable. In addition we have to cover both the hands and the feet. In this case a solution from our American dollar stores, probably Chinese made, God knows what factory and what peasant was killed who was trying to manufacture them, but we have dollar store gauntlet type uh, chemical gloves. These are work, uh, work just fine and a good solution for the problem. We have the standard United States issue rubber boots, which by the way, several years ago, were, uh, were adopted as both the rain boot and chemical defense boot. So this is a combination system. What is sad is that the Department of Defense didn't have enough of these to go around, but they were being sold on the uh, surplus system or through the surplus market to other individuals and could be accessed brand new while our own people didn't have them. Well you do if you're with the Patriot effort because we access them as we can. We don't have to wait for a table of authorized equipment. We are using a number of different nationalities equipments to get the job done. As you will see, Israeli civil defense mask, East German gas mask bag, British chem suits, dollar store slash God knows where those, those gloves came from, and American chem boots. Combined this provides reasonable protection for any individual in the field and at a very reasonable cost. We know that you have dependents, non-combatants, and individuals that need to have this protection in place. These are solutions and these are options that you can choose in order for you to tailor your support needs. It should be noted very quickly that the Anorak type system, the Mark III's that we see here that are British chem suits, have a hood. So they will cover the mask in its entirety, covering both the ears, the top of the head, the back of the neck. These are a sealed system in that you are there a pullover. Once they're in place, they're locked in much like a cold weather anorak would be uh, situated for operations in the cold environments of the north, uh, say northern Europe, the United States, etc. So they actually make good cold weather gear also. Anyway, this is the basic system. Provide you with an answer. Take a look at it. It's laid out pretty straightforward. One more time, we'll go through the list. Standard gas mask, gas mask filter, extras would be desirable, chem suit top and bottom, gas mask bag, gauntlet gloves, and rubber boots. Whatever source you have for these rubber boots or for something comparable, take advantage of them. If all else fails, in a very serious environment, garbage bags and rubber bands would have to do and they would do as a throwaway. Remember that in most cases you're going to consider your chem suit, the gloves, and the boots as disposable items that may have to be decontaminated and then disposed of later. We hope we've answered any of the questions you might have. Remember that there's going to be more to come. Thank you very much.